everyone, this is Zeka Lina here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations. So, we are given a second order differential equation and we are going to solve the problem using reduction of order method. Let's get going. Problem. Solve sin square x into d square y by dx square equals to 2y given that y equal to cot x is the solution. So, we are already given a differential equation of second order and its solution y equals to cot x. So here we have to find general solution to our given problem. Okay, given differential equation. Sin square x into d square y by dx square equal to 2y. We can write it as sin square x into d square y by dx square minus 2y equal to 0. Right? Now, make the quotient of d square y by dx square to unity. Okay? So, we'll divide this equation with sin square x or we can divide this equation, both sides of the equation with sin square x or multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by sin square x. Okay, then we'll get d square y by dx square minus 2 by sin square x into y equal to 0. Now let's write this given differential equation in standard form. d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y equal to r. Okay. Here we are having d square y by dx square and y. But we don't have the first derivative dy by dx, right? So we can write this equation as d square y by dx square plus 0 into dy by dx. I'm just adding a dummy term, okay? Minus 2y sine square x into y equal to 0 which is in standard form, consider it as equation 1. Okay, now compare this equation or compare this equation as equation number 1. Both are same. Now compare this equation with the standard form. Compare 1 with the above equation. We have p equal to 0, quotient of dy by dx is our p, which is 0, and q equal to quotient of y minus 2 by sin square x and r equals to RHS part 0, right? We are given y equal to cot x is a solution. So here there is no necessity of finding complementary function using inspection method. Okay. Therefore, y equal to cot x is the part of or is a solution. Just write solution. Okay. Because we don't have any RHS. where u equal to cot x, since we are having u, we need to find du by dx. If u equal to cot x, just differentiate on both sides with respect to x. We'll get du by dx equal to derivative of cot x is minus cosecant square x. When u equal to cot x, derivative of u with respect to x is minus cosecant square x. Let y equal to uv be the general solution of our given equation of equation 1. 
already we are having u which is cot x but we need to find v here then v is given by d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u into du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u. Consider this equation as equation number 2. Now substitute p, u, du by dx, r and u. Then we will get d square v by dx square plus p to 0 plus 2 by u cot x into derivative of u with respect to x is minus cosecant square x into dv by dx equal to r 0 by cot x. Since we know that cosecant x is reciprocal of sin x then cosecant square x will be reciprocal of sin square x. Right? And also we know that cot x equal to cos x by sin x. So we can write 2y cot x into minus cosecant square x as 2y replace cot x with cos x by sin x into put this minus here and write this cosecant square x as 1 by sin square x right this becomes minus 2 into sin x by cos x into 1 by sin square x. So 1 sin x gets cancelled from the numerator and denominator. We will get minus 2 into 1 by sin x into cos x. Right? So we can replace this term with minus 2 1 by minus 2 into 1 by sin x into cos x or minus 2 by sin x into cos x simply. Okay? Then this equation becomes d square v by dx square plus minus 2 by cot x into cosecant square x into dv by dx equal to 0. This equation becomes d square v by dx square plus see just replace this term by minus 2 by sin x into cos x into dv by dx equal to 0. Let d small v by dx equal to capital V then d square v by dx square will be d capital V by dx. Then the above equation becomes just replace d square small v by dx square with d capital V by dx and d small v by dx with capital V. We will get d capital V by dx plus minus 2 by or just write plus into minus minus 2 by sin x into cos x into v equal to 0. If you notice in the denominator we are having sin x into cos x, right? Since we know that 2 sin x into cos x equal to sin 2x, right? Then sin x into cos x will be just take this 2 to RHS, we'll get sin 2x by 2, right? Now replace this sin x cos x with sin 2x by 2. This equation becomes d capital V by dx minus 2 by sin 2x by 2 into v equal to 0. Then dv by dx equal to, sorry, dv by dx minus we can write this fraction as 2 into this 2 
by sin 2x into capital V equal to 0. Then this becomes dv by dx minus 2 to the 4 by sin 2x into v equal to 0. Again, we can write this fraction as 4 into 1 by sin 2x. Right. Since we know that 1 by sin x equal to cos x. Sorry, cosecant x. Then we can write 1 by sin 2x as cosecant 2x in the next step. We'll get dv by dx minus 4 into cosecant 2x into capital V equal to 0. Now we need to separate the variables. We can write the above equation as, I mean this equation as dv by dx equal to minus, this minus becomes plus, right? 4 cosecant 2x into v. We can write this as dv or 1 by v into dv equal to 4 cosecant 2x into take this differential dx to RHS, we'll get into dx. Now we can perform integration. Then integral 1 by v dv equal to 4 integral cosecant 2x dx. Since we know that integral 1 by x dx equal to log mod x and integral cosecant ax plus b into dx equal to 1 by a into tan sorry log mod tan ax plus b by 2 Okay. Now apply this formula here. We will get log v equal to 4 into 1 by just compare cos 2x with cos ax plus b for a equal to 2 and b equal to 0. We will get 1 by 2 log mod tan ax plus b 2x by 2. Okay, plus integral constant say C1. To do the, these two gets cancelled here. We'll get log V equal to 2 log mod tan X plus, you can write this constant C1 as log C1 because already we are having two terms in, term, in terms of log, okay. So, we'll write the constant C1 as log C1. And also we know that m log n can be written as log n power m. So, we can write 2 log tan x as log tan x whole square. We'll get log v equal to log tan x whole square plus log C1. Then log v equal to, since we know that log a plus log b equal to log a b. So we can write log tan x whole square plus log c1 as log c1 into tan x whole square. Also we know that if log a equal to log b then a equal to b, right? So this becomes b equal to capital B equal to c1 into tan x whole square. We can write this tan x whole square as tan square x, okay? Since capital B equal to d small b by dx, 
so we can write this equation as d small v by dx equal to c1 into tan square x. Now separate the variables, we will get dv equal to c1 tan square x into dx. Simply take the differential dx to RHS. Now we can perform integration. Integral dv equal to c1 integral tan square x dx. Since we know that tan square theta plus 1 equal to secant square theta, right? Then tan square theta equal to secant square theta minus 1. We'll take this 1 to RHS, then we'll get secant square theta minus 1, right? Now just replace tan square x by secant square x minus 1. Since tan square x equal to secant square x minus 1. Okay, then we'll get integral dv equal to c1 into integral of secant square x minus 1 into dx. We can write this as integral dv equal to c1 into integral secant square x dx minus integral 1 into dx is integral dx. So we can write this as integral dv equal to c1 into integral secant square x dx minus c1 integral dx. Since we know that integral dx is x and integral secant square x dx equal to tan x. The above equation becomes v integral dv is v so we'll get v equal to c1 integral secant square x dx is tan x minus c1 into integral dx is x plus integral constant c2 right so we got v therefore v equal to c1 tan x minus c1 x plus c2 or we can write it as v equal to c1 into tan x minus x plus c2. We are having v or we got v and we are having u. So we can write the general solution using the formula y equal to uv. Therefore, the general solution is given by y equal to u into v then y equal to u cot x into v c1 of tan x minus x plus c2 which is equals to c1 tan x into cot x minus x cot x plus c2 cot x since we know that tan x Sorry, cot x equals to 1 by tan x. Then just replace cot x by 1 by tan x. Minus, here we will get 1 c1, right? c1 into x cot x plus c2 cot x. Here tan x gets cancelled and you will get c1. Minus c1 into x cot x plus c2 cot x. Or just take c1 common from the first two terms. Then we get y equal to c1 into 1 minus x cot x plus c2 cot x. Which is a required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with the um, variable questions using reduction of order method. I hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.